What's going on, guys? So today on this Double October review, we're taking a look at something that, well, if you guys are unfamiliar with the way we do things, you would probably be slightly confused because that's clearly not a Double O kit, except for, um... It is the Gundam Double O come in Quanta, or Quanti. If you want to be like that, don't be like that. And it is from the HG Breakers Batlog, or the Gundam Birder Batlog. Now, this one um, I managed to pick up at Target, I believe. Finally found it after, like, a long time. And, uh, yeah, it's actually been out for a while. And I figured, well, I was going to add it to Double October anyways. Unfortunately, it was also not out in time for last year's that didn't happen. I got it actually just a little bit after the fact. Now, uh, fun fact, I've still not watched the breaker bet logs. So I'm bad. I'm a bad fan. I admit it. Totally bad fan. But we do have a really, really nice box art here. Considering we've looked at a bunch of P Bandai stuff, or rather I've looked at a bunch of P Bandai stuff because that's how YouTube time travel works. Uh, actually getting proper box art. <laughs> this is new, so to speak, but it looks cool. Like I, I don't know anything about it. I really like the cool, like commander uh, or command Gundam, I should say. Uh, color scheme. Also, it is. I think it's supposed to be reminiscent of the. Is it a gun dog? What? It's something like that. It's a. Um, it's a different series entirely. I think it's a Dugram kind of thing. I think all of that is a tie back to that, including the weapons and stuff like that. But either way, scan to watch the anime down there in the corner, and you do have a Bandai Spirits logo down here. And someone pointed out on a previous video about Bandai Namco now being on the boxes. Now, this one hasn't been out, or this one's out uh, long enough that it doesn't have it. And I think, I don't know if they've just done a slight rebranding. No, it's always been Bandai uh, Namco in a way, because they own the entertainment division, which is covered by Gundam and all the other things. But it's interesting to see what does and does not currently, even brand new releases, does not have the Bandai Namco logo. Now, mind you, this was from 2021, so that's a different story. Things coming out in 2022, we shall see. Uh, I'll actually probably, because of the way I'm filming this, we'll check uh, the Gundam Virtue box, because I haven't even looked at it at this point also. Uh, like I said, Bandai Spirits logo down there. Is this rock or explosions? I think this is... That's rock and some dust. Okay. So, if we come down here, we got the obligatory rear and front shot here. The large physical blade can be mounted on the backpack. Yes, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's, let's read this here. Hold on. Uh, good Lord, can I make this tinier? This gunpla is used by Takuma Nagasu Nagatsuji. It's based on the double O quantity and uh, customized by adding elements from the command Gundam as well as improved defenses thanks to extra armor. It has many new weapons designed for both long and short range use, almost a short term, enabling it to fight in any situation. It has focused on physical weapons and is equipped with sub energy tank due to its design, which enables independent combat during prolonged battles. This combat style reminiscent of elite soldier where it detaches used up weapons to increase its mobility and thrives to compete its mission, even if it's only left with combat knives. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right. And we got, Various gimmicks enable dynamic action poses. Clear parts have been used throughout the body. We have the heavy machine gun, the missile launcher, the command sword, arm shield. Combat knives can be detached from the arm shield on the left arm. And left open hand parts are attached. Thanks. And on this side, of course, HG Breaker Bad Log, Gun to Breaker Bad Log. Gundam, all the things right there. Bandai Hobby on Nerd. Yeah, it is what it is. I guess it's number five in the line. Didn't even consider that. And last but not least, we have create your one of your own one of a kind gunpla. You can throw all these together just like they do in the Breaker game. I have not played that in a couple of years now. And there's a read up on how to play the game, whatnot. And then hey, there's a. Uh, don't let your three-year-olds play with a command quanta because they'll either change 
space time continuum or just beat up their little their older brother with it and then you got the uh little guy with the toilet there you got pspe yay for that new barcode because i think it came from target fairly certain it did and let's see your actual product my very no glue uh did i put no glue i think I, no i put a tiny bit of glue uh but it's okay so one thing i found out just through this double october side note um is that uh there's a few things that need glue every now and then so you know it's not necessary but sometimes it's necessary so new version of the quanta still upside down by the way i didn't see uh who made the artwork did i no. Oh, right here. I'm sorry. I missed it. Illustration is by Tenjin. Background images by Sh Saito Yoshinobu. I am very aware of Saito Yoshinobu's work. Big fan. Big fan. Tenjin. Don't know that well, but it looks fantastic. Not gonna lie. All right. Let's get to it. All right. So here we have the Command Quanta here. And, well, you you probably wouldn't be easily convinced that it is a Quanta. Because, I mean, realistically, it looks more like something Virtue would do. Or even um, CeraVe. Because it's just big and bulky. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, the color scheme is a very interesting. One to go full green. Two to add the yellow details. Like here on the chest. The enormous ankle guards and then even the all the GN condensers are yellow instead of green, which I guess green would have been a little repetitive on here as it goes. And you do use quite a lot of the original Quanta parts, including the main armor bits, the skirts, most of the leg parts, most of the arm parts, you know, and a few parts here on the head. But the rest of it is all brand new, which is really friggin cool in my opinion. Now, I did add a little bit of paint here and there. I'm going to zoom in. One thing is, this is a very dark colored Gundam, so we're going to have to really uh, play around with that. Well, let me see if I can't. There we go. All right. Uh, so I added a little bit of gray paint here, 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 uh, on these little, little spots up here and there, and then even down here on the legs. That's completely unnecessary, not even part of the design, really. I just felt like doing it. Also added it to the back of the hands because a lot of times they'll have that. Um, but the one place it is technically required, if you're not going to use all the stickers, is down here on oop, hello, down here on the little feet. So these parts right here would normally be a big wraparound gray sticker, but because I love my favorite dark gray ever, even though it's essentially dead as it goes. Oh, by the way, I didn't clean that up really well. Sorry about that. And you you build a whole bunch of crap back to back. Your your brain just kind of goes. Um, and oh yeah i even added some gray back here once again not necessary but i think it adds to the effect breaks up the green just a little bit oh, yeah, i forgot to clean this up after that little spillage there and i was mentioning in the opening footage there that uh or the opening box part that there were parts where you needed some glue and this may not be for everybody this was definitely mine on the thighs uh, the way they sandwich around the hip and the upper leg part here, it didn't want to stay. Like, it was actually fairly loose. Like, if I'd exercised it a little too much, probably would have, you know, you know, popped off. So, I actually just squeezed them together, dot, dot, a little bit of uh, cement in the seam. And then a couple spots, like you can see right here, that big old spot, that was actually a nub mark that wouldn't go away. And I was trying to clean it up. I just didn't get to sand it before filming this review. And then I also seamed the back of the calves. Unnecessary, but just felt like doing it. It's not the best job in the world, but mostly it was just to secure them, not to make them perfect. So that's that's on you guys if you want to do it. So let's spin them around here and let's look at this head sculpt because it looks pretty cool. Once again, big and beefy head. Looks a lot more like it's, you know, uh, one of its predecessors with the Virtue or... Uh, CeraVe, same head or neck joint we always get, you know, get as much movement as you can try with that big old chunky face, love the color separation with the grays and the greens, yellow eyes, I'm guessing some type of, uh, almost like a high mega here mounted to the head, pretty cool, got rid of the safety nubs on the V-fin, always get rid of your safety nubs, oh yeah, I added a gray stripe on the head just for the heck of it, 
<laughs> just just to break it up a little bit. Shoulders, same kind of ball joints to get you the uh I say ball joints, ball joints in poly caps to get you the butterfly joint. You can swing that like that. You can flip her all around like so. And with this huge outer armor here, you're not going to get much more than about 90 some odd degrees. Come on, focus. Focus isn't fixed. What is it doing? There we go. Just kind of back out a little. And then uh, bicep rotation, which is actually really tight, surprisingly. And then you get the double jointed elbow, which I always like about the, uh, the double O style elbow itself. So the joint is here, and then the other one's down here. So you get that little bitty motion, and then you get all of that motion. And then what I always call the triple elbow, technically, is you get this joint here, which allows the, fore the front of the forearm and the wrist to move around. And then you get your ball joint mounted wrist, as you do. Now, this does include a new uh, kind of armor guard here, where the gene condenser is still on the inside, inside there. Gotta love that. And he does have, oh, hey, knew that was going to happen. Pop that off. That's not even sitting in there very well. It's just kind of chilling. Uh, you do get rotation joint there. I thought you had, oh, you do have a little bit of teapot action going on there. Careful, though. I don't want to snap anybody in half. Uh, polycap ball joints for all three of those. Your side skirts and stuff. Not the best way to do it. Not the way I would choose to do it in the future. I'd rather have a hinged ball joint than a, uh, than an, or a, a hinged thing not a ball joint thing also totally brand new crotch does seem reminiscent of something else though um and then when it comes to the hips we can spread them pretty decently for a nice double jean claude and kick forward and this is where that rotation joint helps so just tilts out of the way heck of a front kick and then you do get the double knee joint but the back, the uh, back area there really limits your motion. So it is what it is. Now this also doesn't stay on super well. That's not too bad. It wants to move. Uh, another thing I did, probably unnecessary for most of y'all, but I did cement these red pieces in there. Also super glad they chose to make those their own separate pieces, not... Uh, stickers which you could easily have seen in the past where they would have just put a red sticker there instead you know if it were an sd it would definitely be a, a, a sticker you do get these flip floppy ankle joints here which is fine also i forgot on that little tiny bit of gray right there all right and then the double o ankles so you got all this back and forth and then you got the side to side but then you have the huge chunky chunky donkey feet look at that Yes, I know, I, I use silly language, but I don't care. It's fun. It's more fun that way. He does have a buttload of accessories and weapons. So, might as well look at him. I'm going to start with his backpack. And it's pretty cool. You know, definitely more of a command style. Looks good. Got a big uh, slot there for storage. Got the big handle type there. We see on more ground-based things. This guy right here, which is actually, I think, meant to be one of the GN drives, but I'm not sure because, you know, it is the double Quanta. So, in theory, it has a GN drive somewhere. It doesn't appear to have one in that chest proper, but maybe it does. Otherwise, this looks like a targeting thing or a GN condenser. Hard to tell. Could be a huge scope. Uh, does not have an actual joint here, but it would be cool if it did. It does move about on this one. And then on the cool ass missile launcher right here, it does swivel and then also out here. So this is essentially the same arm you would use for the Quanta shield slash sword assembly. I uh, believe we'll see here in a second if it actually legitimately is. Once again, uh, red pieces separated in there for the individual missiles. Come around to the back for the actual vent parts. And you do have a little bit of darkness from... Panel lining that, so you can get your, your missile launcher kind of moving about a little bit. And, of course, that plugs into the back. No big deal. Right there. And, like I said, you can have that tilted back and bring it up over the, over the shoulder. And then you can have it turn. Or if you want to swivel it a little further out. You know, it's got some independence to it. A little bit. Nothing too nuts. 
but fun enough. Though it's surprising that there's nothing like completely shoulder mounted. And then, like I said, that's just there. Now, maybe that's that energy thing that they were talking about. I don't know. Maybe that's just the entire backpack. Haven't seen the series. Don't know for sure. And I didn't say it in the book. Okay, where do we start weaponry-wise here? So he's got a few things. Actually, before we get to weapons, let's talk hand. Because he does have the cool, cool expressive hand that my focus doesn't want to auto. Hello. Either way. So, there's that. And, of course, you can just do the thing. But the funny thing is, the way that the shield will mount, that hand's not going to do you any good. Though it is nice to have an expressive left hand, or right hand, honestly. But the right hand generally busy. Okay, so let's look at his machine gun thing, as it said. Which is pretty cool. You actually get one of the sword blades, which is interesting because it's using the fat end of the blade, which actually uh, is like at the base of the sword. But it actually goes inside here. So instead of just molding something new, they just gave you every blade. And the other cool thing is this is the, the uh, arm-mounted GN drive mounted here on the gun. I don't know if that's meant as a power source or using it as a scope, just repurposing it. I don't know. I really don't know. Now I feel like I need to watch the show do that. Uh, it does have the fake magazine just totally uh, mounted in there. And it is what it is. Handle. Little peg. So that you can plug it into the arm. And get yourself a going. Gotta love that. Alright, on top of all that, you do get the shield. Which, once again, added some gray to it. And in a lot of ways, it's the same thing that the regular Quanta uses, uh, just with a few extra, you know, bits and pieces. But it does actually have a bottom-mounted gun, which is pretty cool. It reminds me of, uh, like, the little fly-around parts that the... Oh, geez, which one was it? Um, it was one of the core Gundam bits, but it's been a while since I watched that. The white one that had the fly-around parts. Um... Was that the, when the Eldora one, either way? Uh, and you do have the combat knives, which are just shortened versions of the sword blades you already get. In fact, you use the same ones. And the weird thing is, like, because this is usually molded in a translucent green, this is molded in, like, a super glossy... It almost feels like ABS. But I'm pretty sure they don't use ABS on this one. It's a PS and PE, if I recall correctly, from the box. And those are just plugged in here. And, of course, you could use those in either hand as you go. What I was getting at before about it holding it, uh, you do get the plug there and a handle there. So that you stick it in the hand, which is interesting for a shield in the first place. And then you plug it in. And by the way, it does have a kind of targeting friend right there. Nice little yellow sticker. Uh, I do applaud the use of uh, nice metallic stickers for these things. Most of the time, I'm not going to argue with using them. Man, I do need to clean up a couple spots on here before I, before I put it back in storage for a while. There we go. Looking big sexy there. And last but not least, it's sword. Combat sword. And uh, this part here, you know, is essentially straight off of the normal Quanta, including the main central blade bit. And then an all new uh, bottom handle here, which is pretty cool, actually. I like that. It can hold it. That should be, you know, apparent. Now, there's a couple couple of gaps here. Make me believe that other things can plug into it. But I don't know. Let's let's have a let's have a look see. Cuz I can only think of a couple things that could plug in there. No. No. It it looks like it could. It's almost exactly the right size, but there was nothing in the instructions about, you know, combining weapons. And such so I don't know could be wait what if I do what if I do this instead ooh ooh that's almost a thing that's all that would almost be a thing that'd be fun combine it all into another huge sword now he can hold that but I'm not gonna have him hold it because it looks cooler this way does have the peg, and you can mount it right here. 
which is neat. I like I like just the huge sword on the back. Um, oh, I forgot the gun actually has storage, so you can pull this off. My bad. I almost forgot about this until I turned it back around. And you have that slot right there. And this kind of gives you the, uh, the like, burst mode where the other GN drive comes around the back and stuff like that. Now, it would be neat if this plugged on top of that to kind of really make that effect. But I'm fairly certain you can't do that, uh, judging by how everything works here. Um, but that, that's still a neat way to store it. So I guess you could swap it out for the sword. Might as well just do it for the heck of it. You know, show the people that it can do the thing, Shoki. Just do it. Okay. Oop. <laughs> totally just pried the back of my hand off there. So, yeah, he can hold his sword in a pretty grand manner. And then you have the shield weapons doing their thing. It's a little crooked there, but... Oh, well. Very, very cool. Very, very... I would almost say underrated version of this Gundam. Come on, get in there. Watch that back of my hand, though. It will pry off. There we go. All right, so uh, let's do a comparison right quick. And we'll bring in the Gundam Artemis in its ridiculous uh, peacocking mode. I know it's not what it is, but it's what I'm calling it. So you can see size-wise how that works, you know, because that's the only other breaker Gundam I've got. <laughs> I'm not going to do all the other ones. I did see uh, very recently there that the um, that new uh, Inverse Astray or whatever it is just came out at Target. I mean, I'm not going to get it, but it looks cool, you know, the black and the red one. And because the only comparison that actually makes sense, we'll bring in the standard Quanta. Because that way you can tell how much it has been modified. Okay. So, yeah. That's a big deal. Also, the sword is just sort of out there, you know. And like I said, you can see a lot of these same parts being used here. Where that's a little different. And it almost makes me think that that can plug in there. But I don't think so. It does seem like there would be other configurations to this weapon. Actually, I like this because it can hold it, no problem. I mean, that one's working because it has a stabilizer, but otherwise, you know, I've done plenty of reviews on Qantas. This one, the RG and the MG, um, just to show you the, the different craziness of it. Uh, let's see here. V-Fin on the head is the same from what I know. Let's bring that down here. The shield bits here are the same like the center bit here is the same as this they just cover cover down different parts obviously there's no gun attached to this one you know no gun over there uh the arm piece here while it has the extra swivels and stuff i believe yeah it does look to be the same exact part so that's cool and like i said the gn drive is the same inside the thing Obviously, you can see here how the arm guards totally change out. I do love the addition of the kind of elbow pad here. And that's actually only on that side because it's where this piece connects. There's a difference in the legs. Major chunkiness. Difference in the feet. And the green part's the same, but to completely change the, uh, the base of the foot. In fact, that should make it significantly taller. Yeah, it actually doesn't. Why does it not make it taller? That's weird. That 100% should make it taller. Maybe the torso is a different height. Huh. Didn't consider that. But that's interesting. Uh, and the butt skirt. Butt skirt's the same. The center torso is the same. Would have been cool to be able to reuse this part uh, more specifically, but still works. Um... <clears throat> And it would be interesting to see this one come back with like a full saber, a full saber version. Did they ever give us an HG full saber? I feel like they didn't. Not that I really need that, but I don't think they ever gave it to us. So either way, the Command Quanta is a really good kit. I definitely, definitely suggest this one because it is, it is a beast of a redo of a very powerful Gundam in the first place. You know, it's not going to do all the fun 
all, all the fun um, trailblazer parts <laughs> that the Quanta itself can do, as far as I know. But I figure it could probably wreck shop pretty effectively. Um, <clears throat> and that's and that's perfectly fine, in my opinion. So, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this review. Make sure you give a like and subscribe. If you guys want to join in on some of the Double October fun, you can show off your customs and your builds in the Shoki Discord linked down below. And, of course, uh, I haven't done it as a filming this, but I need to set up the merch store so that you guys can buy uh, final Double October merch. The old Double October merch is all still available. So that part's not a problem. Just haven't put up any new merch. Admitting that now, whenever you're seeing this video. That's how YouTube time travel works. Well, guys, that's it. I will catch you on the next one. Stick around for more Double October goodness. I'll see you later. Remember, as always, keep on building.